smells really good. Ha <laughs> ha. Check it out though, I made a uh, hamburger. My plate is a paper plate. I made uh, one of the boxes in the back of my pickup truck. Uh, see, I expected to be able to make it to the cabin. I expected to have the things I was going to need, right? A plate, a coffee mug, this kind of stuff. So I only packed really light. Uh, and that's okay though, because even my light packing, I still have everything I need. I just have to get a little bit creative. So I poured some water into the pan out there. I have it uh, boiling so that it'll be clean tomorrow morning while I want my coffee. I'm gonna eat and then uh, make my bed in here with my sleeping bag and uh, maybe read a little bit of a book. Delicious. Mmm. So good. I mean, that right there is what victory tastes like. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's just from the long, hectic journey, or if this is as amazing as it really tastes. It has that smoke flavor. Mmm. And the salt ratio is perfect. Boy, the moon and stars are so pretty. I wish you could see them. I'm going to get a second camera one of these days that'll pick that kind of stuff up. White shot can funny. Ah. If it's not one thing, it's a thousand. <laughs> so much fun uh yeah this is cool I'm sitting here watching the moon uh it's been a couple hours probably I've just really been enjoying myself I read a little bit of my book uh not much though because I like paying attention uh it's just so nice the stars and the moon I find myself like zoning out I've needed this and the, the pickup, like, this is a totally different kind of adventure because uh, it's kind of, like, almost creepy. It's kind of cool. It's really cool. Fire's dead. Sleeping bag's down. Got all my stuff together. I've got some munchies here. So I brought honey and uh, some bread. Oh, that's salt. I figure uh, once I get settled in the bed, then I'll make a honey sandwich. The uh, boss lady's granddaughter actually gave me some brownies to bring. So uh, instead though, I put them in the fridge so that there'll be a celebration goodie when I get home. Cause I was all like, had my heart set on the uh, the honey and the bread. It's like from my childhood, we always used to snack on, on like honey and bread. Always seemed to be around. This actually reminds me a lot of like being in a boat. Uh, really it brought back a memory cause I was sitting here thinking, you know, wouldn't it be spooky if something like, bump the pickup uh, while I'm sleeping or something and that comes from when I was a kid I was like maybe six or seven and we were in this little wooden boat out in the middle of nowhere right 
and I uh, something bumped it in the middle of the night. And I remember it was like the boat raised up. It was like, boom, right? And the feeling of laying there, I uh, waiting to see if it was gonna do it again, imagining how big it was. What was it? You know, uh, and at that age of being a kid, the, the imagination was just, I felt like a speck, like a fly on the top of the water. And that little bit of hole between myself and whatever just bumped the boat. Uh, it's cool. Here's to adventures. All right, I'm super tired. Uh, I almost don't want to go to sleep, though. I almost feel like a kid staying up late. I. Uh, you know, because it's just so nice, and the wind is beautiful, uh, too. It's just blowing through the trees, uh, and the sound is so calming. It's almost just ambient, almost like I can't d discern uh, the real sound of it uh, as much as it's like the noise of it. I heard sorry. Anyway, okay. I've got to get in bed. Good morning, friends. It's early. It's Sunday. And I'm tired. I'm going back to sleep. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh, that breeze is nice. Oh. Alright. Time for some coffee. Oh. So cool. All right, I'm gonna get my fire started. Get me some coffee going. It comes to starting a fire. If I have some kind of accelerant, like some oil, I always try and save the uh, some of the coal from the night before because it'll suck that oil in and it burns kind of like a candle, makes it really easy to start a fire. It's a warm day. Oh, it feels good though. good. 
damn, that's nice. I just remembered the boss lady before I left. She gave me some leftover Chinese food uh, that they got from town. I, I thought I threw it in the uh, refrigerator with the, uh, the brownies that her granddaughter gave me. I have it though. <laughs> okay, forgive me. Maybe it seems like cheating. Yes, I'm going to eat leftover Chinese food out here in the wild. Uh, and I don't feel a bit bad about it. Oh my goodness, how cool. Let's get a look. Okay. Now I'm living the dream. <laughs> crazy, man, crazy. Cool. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right, now you're talking to me. Mm. We're on the main logging road now. I uh, headed down to the first cell phone spot. It's technically like if you're if I'm counting from like the legends, it's the second cell phone spot. Uh, then the third one is up there by the cabin. So it's a long ways before you get cell phone rece reception again. And there was just total happenstance I found that spot. It's a long way down. nice lots of times sometimes I like to think about like you know when families take their teenage kids out on a family adventure or vacation right out into the sticks or the woods uh, the kids probably want their cell phone right and so I can just imagine like these teenagers hiking around God's creation out here everywhere looking for a bar of service right uh, yeah I can just imagine somebody finding the spot and being like yes okay i'm gonna make my calls see if i can post to instagram hi instagram friends uh yeah and then we'll head on back and we'll go for an adventure very cool okay i'm gonna start with the boss lady make sure everything's okay on the farm let her know that i'm doing good oh no my signal just dropped come back oh man all right i'm gonna try restarting the phone again maybe Come on. <laughs> it might not be meant to be. Oh, that breeze feels so good underneath the shade of this tree. No, it doesn't look like I'm going to get service. All right, I'll try restarting. If it doesn't work, we'll just go on back. Dang. I had two bars for a second. Hmm. Okay, 
I got to call the bosses, left a message, let them know that everything's going well, thank them for letting me have this time off. I uh, got my Instagram video posted, not video, picture. Uh, hi everybody on Instagram. And it's hot, so my feet strapped in all of this leather. I decided to take them off, feel the earth beneath my feet. It's really nice, very cool. We're about, uh, I don't know, a mile from the cell phone spot or so. I've just stopped underneath the shade of this tree because it's getting warm out there. And I can hear uh, somebody coming down the logging road now, headed for the uh, the lake. Sound like they might have a trailer on the back, just the way that it like clinked around. Oh, that breeze feels so good. Man, this is such a good trip. I guess we better start walking again. I tell you, my feet are tender. I need to do this more often, get them toughened up a little bit. Most of these rocks aren't that bad. Some of them, though, are a little bit pointy. Yep. Here comes a fellow adventurer. Nice rig. Almost back to the pickup truck. Yeah, I'm still not in total shape yet. Side doesn't bug me at all. It's just that I feel a bit fatigued. I haven't done any long distance traveling like this in a while. Well, all winter, I guess. All right, we're home. I get the GoPro charging, make a cup of coffee, maybe have a honey sandwich, and then uh, we'll go exploring. I don't know if it's mimicking or what. When it first started making that noise though, it sounded just like a four-wheeler trying to start that can't. It was like this, you know that sound when they're just like, the starter's turning over, they won't fire though? 
some birds mimic like that and sounds that they hear, uh, particularly corvids, uh, cr the crow family. Oh, we're finally getting into the shade. And this is where we pretty much lose the trail. I mean, the road. Fresh moose droppings. I don't see much wildlife out here. Uh, most of the wildlife out here is very stealthy. Are very stealthy, yeah. I. Uh, However, I have seen moose on a couple different occasions, and they are big. They're really beautiful. The ones I'm used to from Alaska are uh, really, what is this? Okay, some kind of a predator, like coyote it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, that's fur that uh, is mixed in the, with that poop. So it looks like maybe cow fur, I'm thinking, with that color and uh, texture. Anyway, so uh, the moose back in Alaska, are, the ones I've seen, are much darker. The ones I've seen here, both of them were like almost red. They were like real rusty looking, really pretty. Moose are the only animals, though, that I kind of worry about because they, when it, I've encountered moose, they're very aggressive, right? And they don't have much, it's like they don't think much. And if they are thinking, they aren't acting like it because there's no way to, uh, to like, be respectful with a moose, exercise each other's boundaries, you know, those encounters you have with wildlife, like with a bear or a wolf or other creatures like that. You can stand there and kind of like size each other up and decide, okay, it's not worth it. With a moose, they seem like they just go full bore all out at the drop of a hat, which I mean, I respect that. There's just not much bartering with it. So... I watch myself when it comes to moose. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It's the sap of the trees. Wow. Oh man, that's nice. The squirrel back there is telling everybody in the forest that he just saw us uh, and that we're passing by. So I always try and move real stealthily uh, and pay attention to squirrels that are making noises in areas where I'm not. Those barking noises like that, that like boop, 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 that burst kind of sound, right? Uh, that's their alarm. And what they're doing is they're telling everything. Hey, there's somebody sneaky here. Look, more, uh, more poop. Thinking from the size, so look. Probably coyote, small one. And let's not forget, there are wolves out here. We know that for sure from the last winter adventure. Boys got along with wolves though.
it's really hot out. We're past where we turn back to the pickup truck, past the fork in the road, and we're just coming up on Hooter Corner now. Uh, this is where I saw that bird that would hoot at me every time I came by for like almost a month. It's really cool. I'm gonna rest underneath the shade for a few minutes because it is hot. I'm moving really slow, however, I haven't had to rest once. Normally, when I'm hauling so much up this, I have to rest like every eight steps. So even though I'm moving slowly, I think I'm making a lot better time than I normally do. these little pine needles the squirrels have left and a mess here are just so sharp to walk over look at them all those little all those little brown things I'm gonna go around oh my goodness wow oh ow <laughs> ah. all right the shade here might not be worth it it just might not be until my feet get a little bit tougher Good old fashioned dirt. Find an easier way around. I don't need to be spending too much time here anyway. Just gotta get out of the sun for a moment. This is better. better. Oh, that sap smells so good. I'm not going to eat here. I'm not hungry yet. I'm just going to sit here for a few moments, enjoy the sound of the birds and this shaded little oasis. You hear that? That was like, could have been one of those little peregrine falcons. I'm not sure I was talking. This used to be a river, and during runoff, it still is. So you see this canyon here, it's cut by the river, and it goes off that way. More of a stream, I guess, if it's just runoff fed. Oh, there's some uh, wolf droppings. Nice. 
Let's see how big it is for reference. Not a very large wolf. I don't dance a coyote though. Anyway, going following this channel up and around leads to the Cliffs of Insanity. Uh, we went up there once. We climbed it from the other side though. And then when I followed it from the bottom, it came out down here. It's pretty cool. I don't like traveling through it though. It's very, very narrow. It's kind of a bottleneck, good ambush uh, area. So we're just following the main trail or main drag. Well, look out there. really old 22 casing live round actually not spent so it's not a casing at all hmm I think it's so old I don't want to carry it around with me I think I'm going to set it over here on this rock I'll pick it up on the way back and dispose of it in this shade feels so good. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! We're almost uh, to the mine. Ha! Man, we're making such good time. I mean, I've always been a fast walker. Really, not dragging so much with me is the way to go. What time, I wonder, is it? Probably maybe... What do you think? Looks like maybe three o'clock, maybe a little bit later. Could be four, maybe. This time of year with the light shift, because uh, it keeps getting, it stays lighter and lighter, longer and longer. Uh, so it's more and more difficult to tell. I'm gonna bet it's 3.30, maybe four. That's really good time for the distance we've covered. See, there's the mine. <sighs> We've got a uh, couple more miles to go, and then we'll be to the cabin.
squirrel barking way up there. It means it's barking at something else. This muddy ground feels good. Very soft, very cold. Now. Hi rocks. Hi creek. Let's look for some tracks. See what we've got in the neighborhood. I see deer. That's these, and over there. Not seeing much else, though. Okay, we'll be to the cabin very soon. You guys, save your battery. There's the cabin. I've got to walk in the shade for a few minutes on this wet ground. Oh, it's so nice. A little bit of snow. Oh, it feels so good on my feet. Dang. Too quiet, too loud. I haven't walked this quietly and this stealthily to let everything know I'm here. Haven't seen much beyond a some birds and uh, one, what do you call it, chipmunk. I will be at the cabin here on that. cabin I'm here about sugar.
Okay, well, that was a lot of fun. I'm about ready, I think, to go home. Though, it defeats the purpose of waiting uh, so long if we wind up running into people on the grade. So, maybe I'll go ahead and turn Max around, go back down to where we parked before, start up a fire, make some coffee. Uh, if I wanted, I could do a uh, hamburger, actually, too, while I'm waiting. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Well, at least turn Max around and we'll wait down there. All right. charge the battery, mow out a little bit, uh, and then we'll head home. Okay, friends, it's time to go home. Here we go. The hardest part's gonna be getting down this first part here. After that, it's logging road all the way home. Okay, here we go. Hold oh, out, super loud. 